hello guys welcome back hope you all are doing fine today i'm going to paint and pay my tributes to this man for the legend he was and his contributions to the football world hi guys welcome back once again december 29 2022 was really an unfortunate day not just for the football but the entire world as the god of football left us on that day in sao paulo in brazil even though i have done a lot of portraits of people from the subcontinent with uh, the beautiful dark skin uh, the black skin is entirely different from that Uh, the color the texture the reflective quality everything is different my experience with black portrait was that of chadwick boseman it was done about 2 years ago i was a huge fan for this portrait i painted the whole canvas with burnt sienna uh, added in details and did some minimal texturing painting from dark to light uh, luckily it worked and i was planning to do the same i just wanted burnt sienna only in the part of canvas where the face comes Uh, the gesso underneath was still wet and i couldn't get the right color but if you are patient enough to wait for the gesso to dry uh, you can get strong burnt sienna on canvas after priming i proceeded with sketching i sketch all my portraits with pencil beforehand Color blocking simply is assigning colors to a particular area without caring for the texture of the surface being painted. Even though texture is not important, values should be accurate since we are not doing the underpainting. Underpainting is a process where you assign values to specific areas and should be done before applying colors. Here I am going with a non-underpainting approach. Advantage is the time gain and disadvantage is that you have to get the values of the shades that you are applying accurately. otherwise it won't look good a second layer of paint is applied over the color blocked portrait this also helps in correcting the values and colors also you can start rendering the texture of the surface in the second layer In this portrait you can see that the surface of the face looks shiny and therefore is more reflective. You can also see the reflected bluish green light on the highlighted areas of the face which is the reflected light from the bluish green jersey that he is wearing. Detailing is done in the same way I usually do all my other portraits. Those who are new to my channel can check out my previous videos where I am stressing on detailing specific areas of face like eyes, nose, etc. I will put the link of those videos in the description below.
I usually prefer to paint faces with mouth closed because the teeth won't look good in a painting. But the majority of the reference images I referred had him smiling and he had such a radiant smile that I was tempted to paint him with his mouth open. Uh, but whenever you are painting the teeth it should be done in a mild understated way or else it may ruin your painting. I wanted a colorful background as it was the approach most suited for the mood of the painting. The bluish green jersey that he is wearing is uh, suggested with a few broad brush strokes and the detailing is done minimally only with a liner brush. Thick black curly hair is easy to paint as it requires only color blocking with a mix of vermilion and Prussian blue, texturing here and there with a milder tone and some highlights with white. And last but not the least, you have to sign each and every work that you do. Signing should be in such a way that it should be clean and legible, but should not grab the attention from the portrait. Now if you have reached up to this in the video, thanks for watching, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell icon for notifications. Put your suggestions in the comment box below. You can follow me at Jinju Art in Facebook and Instagram. That's all from the video guys, see you all in the next, till then take care and bye bye.